So this is the first stop of the trip in Hegra. You've got these spectacular uh, structures. And this first one happens to be similar to a uh, parliament. So that's where they used to discuss important matters. And they used to have water running down from the top of the hill into there. They would purify themselves and then enter the space where there is an echo chamber. The acoustics are excellent and they could discuss the politics of the region. And look at the spectacular niches on the walls where they would put deities, usually goddesses of different religions. So they were extremely multicultural. They would tolerate the different faiths. You've got more niches with inscriptions um, written on them. The deities used to be portable, so they would bring the goddesses and put them in. More niches. And these ones are particularly beautiful. So, on, on the left, someone wrote that they were making a temple for a goddess. And you have these beautiful inscriptions at the top. So it's written there. And then this one, is, I find it particularly beautiful. And it's for the goddess eagle. And you can see the eagle at the top. And finally, some goddesses from the pre-Islamic era, which are very ancient as well. So it's amazing that in a small corridor they had already four or five or six religions. How tolerant these people were. It's a great lesson to modern times.